This tiny bubble right here, it's a breath of air from 20,000 years ago, and yes, we can still study it today. You're watching Mind Warp Science, where we explore the wildest truths about our planet and beyond. Deep under Antarctica's ice, scientists have found something incredible, tiny bubbles of ancient air frozen in time. These bubbles are snapshots of what Earth's atmosphere was like thousands, even millions by CDs of years ago. I visited Dr. Jeffrey Severinghouse and his team at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Their job? Studying ancient ice to understand how Earth's climate has changed and what that means for us today. How can a bubble in ice tell us about the air from the past? It's simple but amazing. In Antarctica, snow falls but doesn't melt. Over time, layers of snow build up. As the snow gets buried, it compresses into ice, and tiny air pockets get trapped in between. Those pockets, they're time capsules, real samples of air from tens of thousands of years ago. What can we learn from these ancient air bubbles? Tons. Scientists can measure how much carbon dioxide was in the air, what the temperature was like, how much dust or volcanic ash was in the atmosphere, even how the oceans were behaving, carbon dioxide in today's air is higher than it's been in the last 1 million years, maybe even the last 20 million. That's never happened before in human history. And here's the kicker, they know it's because of us. How? It comes down to carbon's flavors, called isotopes. Plants prefer carbon-12. Fossil fuels are made from ancient plants, so they're full of carbon-12. When we burn them, the amount of carbon-12 in the air skyrockets, and the carbon-13 drops. That drop is the smoking gun that proves humans caused it. To get this ancient air out of the ice, scientists freeze and seal the ice in a vacuum to remove modern air, melt the ice to release the trapped bubbles, refreeze the water so only the ancient air remains, send that air through a mass spectrometer, a machine that sorts atoms by weight, measure isotopes to learn temperature, CO2 levels, and more. The data shows a huge spike in CO2 starting in the 1800s, right when we began burning coal, oil, and gas. The last time CO2 levels rose this fast was 55 million years ago, when a volcano under an oil field cooked everything and caused massive global warming. This isn't just science, it's a warning. We're heading into uncharted territory and we need to act fast. If you found this mind-blowing, hit that like button. Subscribe to Mind Warp Science for more amazing science stories that explain your world and your future. We cause the problem, but we can also fix it if we choose to. Stay curious.